Cry, brethren, for the betrayer is come. Your hands will be crippled and you will perish as the wretched outcast in the bleak unwritten, and you will know the face of the destroyer. Recovered text from Propheticus, blah, blah. Wow. Hello. Okay, right off the bat, that looks like a midnight Assassin's Creed with satanic nightmare fuel. Hi there, I'm Kobe, and welcome to Odd Things I See. Opinions and information will be provided sometimes, but you are invited to share what you see and think down in the comments. No matter your personal or professional worldview, I want to hear it. What do you think certain symbols mean or try to get across? What effect do they have on your psyche and emotions? Is there a lingering effect? Have you ever played, listened, or just watched something a while back that still affects you? directly or subliminally. In my experience, symbols, however fleeting, can be powerful mechanisms. Let's see short image stills of the trailer and then get back to the retard. did a recording but the sound messed up so I'm gonna do this again new I game last night from my fence heartless Perry a nobleman named Lord Julian had some sort of quarrel and showed up at a local inn well after nightfall and in a foul mood he's carrying a velvet bag about the size of a man's fist and it never leaves his sight sounds likely to be valuable but I'll know for sure when I steal it from him Perry sent over a floor plan of the place, the Blue Heron Inn. Finding his lordship won't be hard. His room number will be in the guest register, if I can get to the front desk to read it. The inn will have guards, but not as many as a private estate. That should make things easy, which is one of the reasons I'm willing to try it without knowing for sure what the take will be. Lord Julian is so protective of that bag. There's got to be something of value in it. Okay, we are streaming or recording Thief Deadly Shadows. Why am I doing this? This game is, uh, it's, what's that word that I'm looking for? It's, uh, nostalgic for me. Around the time of 2005 it came out, and around the time of 2005 is when all hell hit my life. A lot of paranormal stuff started happening, and uh, I've never gotten around to finish it. Uh, the other reason is the new Thief game is out and I haven't played it yet. So I'm going to do this game 
as my first project for my Odyssey series. Odyssey, Odd I See, Something Odd I See, and I will be playing these dark games because I kind of like it. It's just like uh, I don't play goofy, colorful, shiny games. I, it, it, there are certain games that I just can't play, and if I say names now, it might tick some people off, but I like grim dark games, gritty games, realism games. I don't like uh, super strong protagonists. I like to have a little bit of a struggle, and this is definitely one, one of those games. Briefing, we already did. Difficulty, I'm going to keep normal because I just want to focus on lore, have fun, and talk. I don't want to stress and struggle. Goals, break into the inn, find out what Lord Julian is, what room Lord Julian is staying in. Lord Julian. Steal Lord Julian's velvet bag from his room. Gear, we cannot do anything yet. You see there's zero G. As you steal, you get gold, and that gold you use to buy stuff for the next mission. I don't remember... I know there's a fence in Thief 2. I'm not so sure about this one because I haven't played it for so long. So my ultimate mission is to play the new Thief game. I think it's just called Thief. But I want to do this one to catch up on the story. And I know there are some people who still have the title of Thief dear in their hearts. So let's begin. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh! seems to be going <laughs> welcome to the training mission throughout the rest of the game you will make your own choices and take your own path in this mission however you will be given instructions at every step to get started follow the footprints on the ground to the first training experience okay the brightness looks okay I hope you guys can see uh, I love thief I just love it for so many reasons. I don't like Assassin's Creed, never got into it because you run around in the sunlight. But Thief, I like to take out all the sources of light and blackjack everyone. If there's a guard that especially ticks me off, I want to shoot him in the face with a broadhead arrow. Um, Something moving. It's me, bro. To be a thief, you must learn to use stealth. When you hide in shadows, guards will not be able to see you unless they are very close. The light gem at the bottom of the screen will tell you how visible you are. Crouching, moving slowly, and hiding behind objects can also be helpful, but are not always required. In this case, the guard will not see you if you remain in the darkness. Sneak past this guard to proceed. Okay, you see in the middle, there were... Well, I guess I didn't hear anything after all. Never eat salty worms, north, east, south, west. You see the gem there, it's going to light up. As you move or get closer into the light, and the guard will that? see you. <gasps> hey, that lurking? <laughs> okay, so that's the light gem. It helps you. Uh, wonderful thing about the, g the game. Yeah, it's 2005 and it's dated, but the game's so dark, <laughs> so full of shadows and darkness, it kind of hides the crappy graphics. And it still looks gorgeous, even though for that reason. Okay, my name is ExoSilver. This might be the first or the second video I'm going to put up on my channels. This guy's buggering off. And I'm going to go through games looking at symbolism, looking at deeper intended meanings. Why? Why ExoSilver? Just call me Exo, it's easier. But silver has a unique meaning. It's a symbolic uh, symbol to me. Some guards will be on patrols looking for intruders. You must learn to observe your enemies and use careful timing to slip by them while their backs are turned. Sneak past this patrolling guard without getting caught. Okay. Uh, why am I doing this? Well, um, the games of yesterday shape the games of today. And the world is getting worse. It's also the last couple of years, I say 10, 20 years, sleep paralysis have skyrocketed. And if you remember the trailer of this thief game, there's a lot of symbols that you saw. You remember that hammer and the eye and the keyhole? Why are certain symbols used in games? Why can't they use certain unique symbols? If you look at the game Warframe, nothing in that game makes sense. It almost has no relation to something in our real world. Although this game, Thief Deadly Shadows, use certain symbols that are used in other places of our reality too. Why don't you just use 
new symbols? Why don't you just make new games? Why are you putting the god Pan in the game? And why put that third eye there? What are you guys trying to convey with your symbols? <gasps> Am I hating on the game? No! I love Thief! I think I'm gonna play this game again ten years from now. I love the game. I think everything is amazing. But certain symbols in games and certain situations and certain scenarios, it just, it just tickles my curiosity. The sounds you make can alert guards, so you must learn to move quietly. Your footsteps are louder when you run and when you cross over loud floor surfaces such as metal. Walk slowly and quietly over this metal surface without alerting the nearby guard. You can creep quietly by holding down control. I am not uh, from America or England or Australia. I grew up speaking two languages, so you will sometimes hear me shla 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 my language. Um, as I'm getting used to just 100% just uh, doing the English thing. So shift is a sneak, but control is also a sneak. Okay, so shift is walk, control is super sneak. But according to Thief 1 and 2, you usually crouch to sneak, which you can also do, and it's just better. You're happy, glad I don't have a broadhead arrow. So my speech won't always be as perfect as Joe Rogan's speech. All missions have objectives, even this training mission. Your first objective is to break into the inn. You can complete the objective by entering through this delivery hatch. Press X to crouch, then walk through the hatch. When you're inside, press X again to stand up. Blah, 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 blah. Or I can just fall down here and completely ignore you. Okay. Welcome to Odd I C. Odyssey. Every journey is going to be an odyssey with a story, but I'm also going to talk about odd things and I see. And there will be creatures and situations in the games that uh, trigger a memory I had. As I've said, since 2005, I've been through a lot of paranormal hell uh, with regards to all elements considering uh, concerning that phenomenon, phenomena, which one is the singular, which one is the plural. I've experienced much, and I think the games that I play will jog my memory, will be fun to comment on, relate to something I've been through. Some episodes that will be a lot of what I'm going to talk about, but other episodes it won't take up as much time, it'll just be me playing the game, trolling, roasting myself. Use your bow and water arrow to extinguish the torch on the wall. When the guards are nearby, putting out torches creates darkness that you can sneak through. First, select the water arrow by pressing 8, then pull left mouse to aim, blah blah blah. It's a bloody bow, man, it's easy. Okay, this is what I, why I prefer the Thief games over Assassin's Creed. Ah. Oh. Don't you just love that? You make the whole level dark. And you sneaky sneaky everywhere. It's not a combat game. So if someone sees you, it's very hard to kill them with your dagger. Maybe not as hard. I, I know that Thief 1 and 2, I killed people easily with a sword. I have a run backward, run forward um, special move. My friend will know what that's called. My buddy in England. Um, but... Okay, but in this game you just have a stupid little dagger and it's not as easy. Maybe you get a sword at some point. Did my leg just do a stanky leg? Uh, maybe it's kind of easy to kill someone with a dagger in this installation of the game or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I struggle. Okay, so I don't know if you've noticed but with the descriptions on my channel uh, I and the symbolism I've used, and maybe other video you watched before this one. A locked door is an obstacle for a skilled thief. Use the door with right mouse to enter lock picking mode, then use the mouse to pick the, pick the lock. See, it happened there. Tongue twisters. All the days of my life. You must find the sweet spot in each stage to make progress. Not any movement on the visual lock indicator to gauge the... what? Note any movement on the visual lock indicator to gauge the location of the sweet spot. It's just a wiggle wiggle. Okay, so I'm going to talk about paranormal stuff and uh, second heaven stuff, second heaven spirit world stuff. Uh, 
I wonder how realistic this game is. I'm going to talk about that stuff, um, and I prefer to go through life with the Creator God, whoever the Creator God is. Uh, some people call him just God, some call him Jehovah. Okay, this thing's going to keep coming up until I do this. Where are you? Okay, some people call him God, Jehovah, other religions have their names, uh, uh, what's uh, Allah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I went through intense paranormal stuff, and the only way I was able to deal with it and stop it, it stopped. So if it was like a mental thing, it'd still be going on, but it stopped. I have stopped it, and the only thing that helped me was the Creator God, Source God. Now, there are many gods that claim to be a god, but... Uh, in my experience, there's only one that fits that description. And uh, you might be thinking, oh, this is a super holy dude. No! I want to see how hardcore realistic this game is. Is it possible to blackjack this rat? It's a wooden rat or something. Okay. That's not very realistic. Is it possible to stab this rat in this very dated game? Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. Can I throw you? No, I cannot throw you. I can just drop you. That's sad. There you go. This will be a warning for anybody tailing me. Okay. So I'm going to play Grim Dark games. Grim Dark stuff is going to happen. I will be forced to do something to someone just like I was forced to stab that rat. Ratty is now gone. That's an electric or gas light. You cannot take turn this one off I guess but maybe there's a switch so uh, don't worry I'm not a priest or something just a normal guy and I'd like to talk about I love games and anime but I'd like to talk about paranormal stuff and just share my experiences and things I've been through and how I came through it on my channel while I'm doing my stuff. You must learn to ambush your opponents. One hit from the blackjack can take down an opponent silently. To blackjack successfully, you must strike from behind when your opponent is not aware of your presence. Select your blackjack by pressing one. Sneak up on the indicator. Okay. I have to be a very... <laughs> I have to do this very Christianese. Let's do this the Christianese way. Can I crouch and then hit? Hey! Hey! Uh, big boy is a bit of a ballerina. Ooh, big boy is a bit of a ballerina. That's a nice rhyme. Alatarasi, my bra. If you leave bodies around, they might get noticed. Highlight a body by entering it on the screen. Right, must one pick up the body, find a clear, blah, 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 blah. Basically, Hitman. Sean on all. Okay, I want to throw him down there to see if the game is realistic. And if he will die, in fact, if I get to chuck him down. Uh -uh. Come on, Garrett. Come on, Garrett. Uh -uh. Garrett. We want to. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, anyway. But he didn't die. Okay, we need to test how how far you can drop someone before they die when they're unconscious. We are here in the lobby room. Lord Julian. He's in the peony, puny, peony, puny, suey, sweet. But I think this training mission doesn't take you to all the rooms. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I think the next mission is the continuation of this mission. So I want to go to Dame Jala and companion. They are in the crystal suite. So there might be some sweet stuff to steal. Lord Julian. <laughs> Wouldn't do to have anyone think he was just Julian. That's funny. In Thief 1, it also happens at a level where Garrett says, uh, a throne room. How pretentious can you get? I think Garrett really hates rich people. Cat! Are you just a mere texture? Or can you actually be eliminated? Oh, you can be blackjacked. Kudos to the creators. This cat can be killed. Ah, 
blackjacked. So we know the cat can feel pain. We know the rat can die. So this cat will definitely die. Uh, better keep it Christianese. Don't want to upset anyone. Don't try me though. Neko neko cha. Neko neko cha. Hey, check your map to find out where Lord Julian is. Always good to check that. Okay, yeah. These thief maps suck. I never know where the hell I am, so I just use. Wait a minute. No. I just use my memory. FYI, I have a goldfish memory. Nothing particularly interesting here. Um. If anybody knows the person called Jesse Sebatar, that's a person I'm very interested in. And also the way she looks at symbols. So give Jesse Sebatar a watch and you'd understand why I'm doing this. That kind of looks like a bit of an upside down triangle there. Zoom in. Can you zoom in, buddy? Buddy, can you zoom in? Is there? It looks like there's a little bit of a Downward triangle there. Uh-oh. How do I cancel this now? I don't want to... Escape. Good. You don't want to lose all your water arrows. And I don't know who the pirate man is. Okay. Stealing 101. An observant thief keeps an eye out for valuable objects, such as this goblet. The loot you steal can be later sold to your fans. Yeah. Get some extra. Right-click if you see something shiny. Right-click. Which reminds me, maybe I missed something in that other room. It says how much loot you have stolen. Oh, I think that cat is tempting me. Uh, you wanna check out here and there if you find something shiny. Sometimes it's a bit hidden, so you have to look carefully. Okay. That's it. You can press up against the walls to decrease your visibility in the light in the light gem and to fit into narrow shadows. To enter wall flattening, flat, flat, flattening mode, stand very close to wall, press R. Okay, it's basically this. You see me very lit up, but if I... Okay, you have to stand with your back to the wall. You see, I can decrease my visibility. And maybe if I'm lucky, a guard will just pass right by me. Okay, um, I'm going to be chatty, but I hope I don't chat too much and not play the game. Okay, if you want to just watch gameplay, go... I think there's a ton of people playing Fortnite. But here, I will be doing something different. That's the door to Lord Julian's room, but the guard is in your way. You can distract him by using a noisemaker arrow. Shoot the noisemaker arrow down the wall, the hole, and he will run towards the noise to investigate. U7 to select. Okay. Right. Uh, piss right off. <gasps> That's not a... What's that noise? You heard me say, piss off. I might say words like that now and again. Even though I claim to be spiritual. Uh, if you're watching me, I'm a normal person, just like you. That is not valuable, so it's just gonna go into my hands and be and useless. But I'm pretty normal. Um, I have another channel that you may or may not know of. It's full of supernatural things. Sometimes things don't work out as expected. Lord Julian isn't here in his room and neither is the velvet bag. You're trying to steal. Find a clue which tells you where the bag has gone, where he has gone, and your objectives will update to this new location. You can use O to view your objectives. There's also restrictions. The one reason I, I don't want to play hard mode or nightmare mode is because it restricts you. You have to blackjack everyone you are not allowed to be seen even once. You're not allowed to kill someone, and that's stupid. So I play the whole level. Someone corners me and I kill him, and then blah, need to start the whole damn thing over again, like Project IGI. If you want to see the original Dark Souls, go play Project IGI. An old game, but dear lord, it's going to push you to the limits. Play it on hard mode, you wuss. My friend and honored Lord Julian, 
I will meet you in the Lancaster room tonight. I trust you will be mindful of the risks involved. Oh, oh, oh. Morris the cook. Risky. A risky rendezvous with Morris the cook. Ooh la la. Ara ara. Can't have gone far. I don't think he went for a walk. I think he went for a rendezvous. A rendezvous. Sometimes you will hear my pronunciation be a little bit weird. I'm South African, but I've spent some time in the UK and the US. Uh, oh, I was talking about my other channel. You will see very spiritual things there, very supernatural, blah, blah, blah. Theological. Up until a academic theological extent. But why am I playing this grim dark game? Why am I going to play these dark games? They are increasing. Everybody is playing... What's that now? Uh, uh, what's that? Elden Ring. And it's a very famous fun game. I love it too, but it's extremely dark. And things are getting darker and darker and darker. Why are games getting darker and darker? Even the fun, shiny, colorful games are getting extremely bloody dark. Why? I understand making a game dark, but... You remember the trailer? That was a bit nightmare fuelish. This game, the, tr the demo for Thief was available on a demo disc. I think it was world renowned, but a lot of people knew about the game. A lot of people spoke about it, at least from my corner of the world. But I was a tiny little kid when I played Thief 1 and 2. And I ran to, into the trickster. Satyr trickster god. I was bloody traumatized for a year or two after meeting that thing. You gotta be careful. Lord Julian is here, sitting near the fire, talking to someone. His purse is right next to him. Sneak up and steal the purse without being seen or heard by anyone in the room. When you've got the purse, proceed to the kitchen, stick to the shadows, walk silently and move your opponent. Basically, be careful. So, what am I doing? Uh, I'm trying to take very tough theological supernatural concepts and making them simplifying them through the medium of playing games anime etc it's just a the bloodline noble should rightfully be mine if i may my lord i have some story happening here now the castle well you're a girl what could you know every evening after sunset the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard. Oh, my alarm. No one looks twice. Arrange oh, for your men glitch. To be inside one evening. And then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty. <laughs> my accursed cousin. My lord, listen. There is a passage leading into the castle from the courtyard. I can open it for you when you give me the signal. The torch in the lion's head sconce. You must put it out. The lion's head torch. Yes. And when I reach the vault and hold the bloodline opal, I will take my place as head of the family. The Lady Elizabeth will be waiting. Even now she'll be flattering him, giving me time to return. Only the medallion is the only key, my lord. Come and you come must and keep go. hold of it. You forget Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it with his life. My lord? I wish only for peace in the household. The opal is mine. I won that bet, Morris. I won it. Okay. The Lord there with his boyfriend, Morris. I want to take out that guard. Will I be able to take out this guard? Really want to try. Crouchy, crouchy. Bloody hell, it's dark. You have to play Thief Dark or you lose a lot of the effect. Now, my voice might be very soft compared to the game. The game just loves to spike the audio. If you change the brightness or change the volume, it just reverts back, so there's nothing I can do. There is a patch I can download for this game. But I see online that it says it's screwy with the new windows. Ha! Screwy with the new windows. 
And why can I not pick you up, my friend? Bloody dead. Did I break the game already? So I don't want to mess around and play with the, play the game and then um, it breaks. I don't want to do that because I want to finish the game. So I don't want to screw around too much. And this game still looks like I remember it, which just adds to my nostalgia. So I'm just going to play it as is. You see, none of these things are shiny. You cannot steal them. We want to go get the thingy of Lord Julian. Let's go get the thingy off Lord Julian. I'm gonna be careful. Just see if there's anything else I can steal. The more the merrier you want. Money. You want money. Uh, so I am a South African guy. Sometimes my pronunciation will be funny. But also sometimes you're going to hear me sniff sniff um, or do harsh sharp breaths. I was poisoned recently, I think I said, say this in the Warframe video as well. So just uh, excuse me please, I, it's very hard to just remove all those harsh breaths. Uh, the place where I got poisoned, people say, oh it was an accident, I'm not so sure that it was an accident. I was deliberately poisoned another time. I think the reason for these poisonings will be obvious on my main media channel. If I remember correctly, someone, someone's gonna T-pose spawn right in front of me. So I wanna see if there's anything I can steal before this teleporting boob arrives. I see nothing shiny. Trigger scenario. Sometimes even a careful thief gets caught. You can always fight if it comes to that, but it's usually safer to make a getaway. Try toss tossing a flash bomb and escaping while your opponents are blinded. Use F1 to select a flash bomb and one, one to throw it. Why would I use one to throw it? Or left mouse. Optionally, you can try attacking with your dagger one way or another. Escape through the door leading outside. Uh, F1. I know someone's there. One. I see you. One. One. L. Why is it not working?